are you a life science student and doing a PhD in Harvard is that your dream well then this video is for you today we are going to see how to get a PhD in biology from Harvard University I'm Dr. Vaishali academic specialist at Biotechnica Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career come let's explore the topic so first let us see what are the steps that are necessary for applying for PhD and after that we are also going to see what are the different departments that is there uh, in, bi in biosciences in Harvard University what are the different labs what are the different kind of works that they're doing as well as is your GRE required or TOEFL and IELTS are all of these scores required to get into these labs and what are the different funding opportunities for you to get into Harvard University so these are the different things that we We'll be seeing today the first is the steps for applying for PhD right so first is you choose a program uh, it might be so there are various departments in Harvard's right you first go and you choose which particular department you want to do your PhD in second make a note of the deadline that is available because for different departments and for different labs the deadline uh, for applying for PhD is different so once that is done then you see the requirements of standard tests that is is GRE required is the TOEFL or IELTS required and what is the minimum score that is needed to do a PhD or even to qualify to apply for this PhD so make a note of these standard test requirements and lastly complete your online application and submit it well before time so these are the different steps that's necessary for you to apply for PhD in Harvard University now so this uh, PhD at Harvard University is being given by uh, a particular school called Graduate School of Arts and Sciences that is GS a S right so in biosciences or life sciences this particular PhD is given by three different departments so first is the SEAS that is Harvard John A Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences so this is the first department the second is the division of medical sciences that is called DMS and the third is the Harvard Integrated Life Sciences or HILS Hills. So these three are the uh, departments in which a bioscience student or a life science student can go and do PhD. Now the GRE general as well as the subject scores may be required in few of these departments or labs. So we'll be seeing that as well in detail. So the first school that we are going to talk about is the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. So most of the uh, you know subdivisions of this particular school is on the engineering side of the uh, you know science. But yes, we do have bioengineering that is related to bioscience or life science students. So bioengineering is one such. If you want to do PhD in bioengineering, then this is the department that you will be connected with. Now it does collaboration with the medical engineering as well as medical physics fields that uh, is there in uh, Harvard as Harvard itself. So these two are the departments with which you will be collaborating. Now what is the requirement to join as a PhD or to apply as PhD is you need a bachelor's degree in the natural sciences, mathematics, computer science or even engineering. So these are the different fields from which either or fields from which you need a bachelor's degree. So what are the different types of uh, research that this particular school uh, does especially in life sciences is bio inspired robotics and computing second biometrics and motor control third is cell and tissue engineering biomaterial and therapeutics so these are the different areas under which the school of engineering and applied sciences or SEAS works on the next school or the next division that we are going to talk about is the division of medical sciences now what are the different labs that is present in uh, this particular division first is bioinformatics and integrative genomics which is also called the big the next is bio biological and biomedical 
Biological and Biomedical Sciences, which is also called BBMS, right? Next is Immunology, Neuroscience, Speech and Hearing, Bioscience and Technology, and also Virology. So these are the different labs that comes under DMS, that is Division of Medical Sciences. So few of these DMS area require GRE general. So if uh, if there is one particular lab that you want to choose and work with, do go and check out if this GRE general score is necessary or not. Secondly, for any of these labs that you want to get in, your TOEFL score has to be a minimum of 100 and your IELTS score must be a minimum of 7. So these are the requirements if you have to get into the, these specific labs in the DMS department. Now, the last department under Biosciences in Harvard University is nothing but Harvard Integrated Life Sciences or what we call as HILS, right? So here as well, we have multiple labs under this department. So the first is again big, that is Bioinformatics and Genomics and Integrative Genomics. So a few of these labs do coincide with DMS as well. So these labs come under both DMS and HILS. So the first such lab is um, BIT and then we also have BBMS that is Biological and uh, Biomedical Sciences. Then Biological Sciences and Public Health which is uh, only a HILS lab. Right? Then chemical biology, then immunology, molecular and cell biology, neuroscience, organismic and evolutionary biology, as well as virology. So in a few of these labs are also from DMS and HILS. A few of them are HILS specific labs here. So if you want to get into any of these labs, there are requirements. So the first requirements is that just like how we saw in DMS, right, even here as well, a few of these labs require the GRE general score. So it's important for you to go into these specific websites and check if the general GRE general score is required or not. Second is the TOEFL minimum score has to be 100 and the IELTS minimum just like we saw in DMS has to be 7. So these are the different labs that are available for a bioscience or a life science student for doing PhD in Harvard. Now what are the different funding options that are present at Harvard right? So first of all the Science PhD students especially are fully funded by Harvard itself for carrying out their research project. But if you want any external funding, there is a Fulbright US student program which helps in funding external students for doing the, um, you know, PhD at Harvard University. The second uh, funding is the Fulbright Hayes Doctoral Dissertation Research Abroad Program. So this is the second, uh, you know, funding opportunity that's available for everybody, whoever is doing PhD. Now, the next option that I'm going to talk about is the CARAT database. So CARAT uh, database is uh, fully owned uh, by, uh, is, is being maintained by Harvard University. It's the first stop for, uh, you know, looking at any Harvard fellowship. So yes, do go to the CARAT database and then check out for all of your requirements and all of your qualifications. What are the different uh, funding options that are available that you can go ahead and take. So this database, is com database comes really handy in that case, right? The next is we are going to see what are the checklists that is necessary for you before even you start applying for PhD at Harvard, right? Before you applying, what are the things that you need to have in your hand? So the first is, of course, the transcripts of your graduation program, all the uh, scores and the grades that you had uh, obtained. The next is if you have any research experience, then you should also have the, you know, the, the document for it. The third is the SOP that is statement of purpose, which contains, um, you know, what is your motivation for uh, taking up this particular research in this particular department. So, and why you are qualified to get admitted into, into that particular research program. So that will be your statement of purpose 
The next is LOR that is the letter of recommendation. So there is a separate um, a separate column for uh, uploading the LOR and also um, you know who the LOR has given so you have to give those details as well in the website itself. The next is contacting your potential advisors. So this uh, particular step so generally for PhD what we do is that we first contact the professor and then we discuss about the research problem that we want to do. We see whether you know there is a good connection and everything and then only we go ahead and apply for PhD. PhD, right. So in a few university it's necessary that you first talk to the professor and the professor has to be aligned about taking you as their PhD student but here in Harvard it's not uh, entirely necessary right even if you've not contacted any of the supervisors or if you've contacted it doesn't make any difference you have to first of all go through all of these um, you know scrutiny that they have in the Harvard University for PhD and if you contact a potential advisor then it is good but it's not a mandatory step for you to get into PhD right next is of course you should also check whether the in the demonstration of English proficiency that was the GRE uh, sorry the G GRE general the IELTS and the TOEFL score are they necessary for the lab that you are going to apply if so then yes keep those scores also ready if not if you've not given those exams but you want to enter that lab go ahead give the exam get a good score and then keep your checklist in place and then apply for PhD at Harvard. So with this, I come to the end of this particular discussion. I'm sure that this information was super helpful for all those of you who are looking at uh, applying for PhD at Harvard. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.